You're watching Telecom TV from the MEF 17 event in Orlando. And I'm joined now by Nan Chen, president of MEF. Nan, good to see you again on Telecom TV. Thank you. Another year, another successful MEF event, accumulation of a year's activities, no doubt. The big news for me, though, uh, at this event has been MEF 3.0. Yeah, we are really, really excited about that. Um, as a matter of fact, I got to tell you, the 3.0 it has to be the biggest, the boldest, and most revolutionary one ever since the formation of this organization. And the reason I say that is, that if you think of what we've done with the, uh, this organization, a form based upon making a new network, a suite of new services available, based on a technology at the time called Ethernet, and primarily for enterprise. Making that carrier class is absolutely amazing thing we've done in terms of lay out the vision initially, and over several years after that, really prove out that vision. So if you think of that way, the AMIA 3.0 is in the same, if not a higher, in terms of vision and in terms of the task in front of us. And uh, we, really lay out this vision about three years ago when we launched uh, what we call the third network. And people may consider, well, what was this third network? At the time, we defined third network as the agility and uh, ubiquity of the internet plus the performance and security of uh, carrier Ethernet networks. So now we're on to the third network as we created the second network and um, uh, deliver agile assured orchestrated services that is a really big vision we laid out. And uh, MEF 3.0, which we announced today at this event, is really about to uh, how do we realize that, that vision we lay out. Um, in other words, we actually starting created another network, set of network and services, really helping to grow this industry and delivering lasting value. So that's a big. Because this isn't, just an evolution of what you've done before. You, you, you're really you're taking a new approach. You, 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 there's, some, there's some interesting aspects of this that, that, that are new. The certification, for instance, there's this cloud-based certification, subscription-based, there's a lot of new things in this. Yeah, totally. People always say, you know, what, what it is at 3.0. It's really a transformational global services framework and to define and deliver and certify agile assured orchestrated services across global ecosystems of automated networks. And then you kind of ask, you know, how, uh, how or why are you doing it? And the reason is it's really simple. Is it from the user's perspective? Because for the first time in the industry, we're able to um, empower users with dynamic performance and security required to thrive in the digital economy by combining sophisticated standardized services with LSO APIs. As a result, you provide cloud-centric, seamless experience and with incredible or unprecedented, I would say, user and application directed control over network resources and service capabilities on a global basis. In other words, is the entire network resources on a global basis as user's fingertip. I mean, it's unbelievable um, what, what we uh, lay out this vision. It's big, it, uh, clearly. If the Ethernet had been successful, this is really going to be making this industry you know, very much uh, booming and growing. So I, I really think this is a really important for end user perspective. And in terms of um, ability to deliver that, we have, um, four components basically associated with uh, MEF 3.0. Number one is a standardized orchestrated services, which start with dynamic Ethernet services, which we all know, and, and then we'll continue to refine and define new ones, but also IP services, um, wavelength services, and SD-WAN services, service, uh, security as a service, and plus many other uh, virtual services a year to come. And that's one service definition. Second one is uh, really about LSO APIs. And LSO APIs not only define the standards 
for intraoperator, but most importantly, interoperator. So it can have that end-to-end -end service push a button, so to speak, or, or open an application or open that app on your mobile phone. So number three is building a new communities, uh, which we've done it before. We have uh, service providers, so we have uh, vendors, and, and now we're adding uh, software developers and, and uh, partners with other SDOs to be able to work together to really help us to move things forward. And with that, we created a virtual community, we call it MathNet, uh, which allow everybody, all parties, to be able to uh, develop, testing, and integrate uh, all the MEF 3.0, either prototyping or a eventual demonstration of those services. So we're really excited about that. Last but not least, which you mentioned about certification. This is a, also transformational to, to us because now we deliver certification not just uh, by shipping boxes around and, and testing a, a sample circuits. We actually be able to test that from a cloud-based uh, connectivity services, um, be able to deliver that certification on demand at push a button. So we reduce certification not only from hours or days to you know seconds and minutes, but also be able to do that in a, in a way where people can certify anytime um, the real circuit, not just a test circuit. So that's really really incredible. So well, you know we're excited about it. And, and this framework to me, it appears maybe it's more accessible to a broader range of service providers and the community and you know, maybe at, at some point enterprise involvement. As a matter of fact, we uh, in that partnership, um, I neglect to mention that we still under the wrap and we're working with the enterprise and uh, starting to help, starting to group them together to really helping us to uh, get a requirements right. As they are the top of the food chain, so to speak, they're the ones who are really kind of a guiding through as far as the directions in terms of uh, both connectivity services or networks as services, you know, where that direction is. So they will be able, especially the multinationals, where they actually have big um, stake in how, this, how these services can be developed, how they're gonna be using it, and what would be most beneficial to them. So we're really working with them as well. Great, Nan, thank you very much. Thank you.